Hello everyone. Welcome to Partshala. Now in this video, we will see how to save a model in a JSON file or YML file for later use. We can also save the model along with the weight uh, in the HDF5 file. Okay, so we will see how to do that uh, with an example. Okay, so to understand this, I have created a small model for house price prediction system. We know that we can use neural, neural network as a regressor model or the classifier model. In regressor model, we are trying to identify the real values. While in classification, we are going to assign a label to the input data. So this is purely the example of uh, regressor okay so for this i have used boston housing data set which is available under tensorflow.keras.dataset i have loaded that boston housing data set with the help of load underscore data method and i am getting two tuples first is train underscore x train underscore y test underscore x text underscore y is the second one if we check the shapes, uh, there are total 404 training examples with 13 different inputs and we have 102 testing examples with again 13 different input. First uh, training samples include uh, these values. True label associated with that is 15.2 okay so in order to bring all these values on same scale we have used normalization so from pre-processing package we are using normalize uh, method and inside that we are passing train x and test x to get train x and test x which is actually the modified or the normalized version we can check out the values associated for the first training example okay so this is uh, the normalized values uh, array. Now I have created a small uh, model for house price prediction. Basically I have created a function and inside this function I have stated that I am going to use a sequential model. First is 128 neuron model and uh, 128 neurons and uh, it is just taking the shape of uh, the 13 then i have created another layer and uh, in that layer i have placed 64 neurons with activation function as relu in sequence i have again added another layer with 32 neurons and activation function is relu and finally i have dense layer where i am i have inserted only one neuron uh, that will provide the real value that's why i haven't used any activation function over here in order to compile my model, I have used RMS prop as optimizer. Loss is mean squared error, MSC. So real values are there. Output is real values. True label associated with the sample is again real value. So difference between these, team, uh, these two, we are going to consider. Uh, matrix is used as MAE. Okay. Mean absolute error okay then uh, what i have done i have uh, identified length of training samples number of epochs i have set to uh, 100 okay i have called the function i have got the model and uh, with the help of uh, fit method i have trained my model on train underscore x and train underscore y okay 100 epochs i have used batch size is one and uh, validation data is test underscore x test underscore y after 100 uh, epochs i now want to store my this model in a json file okay so json file is a key value uh, json file includes key value pairs key is used to retrieve the information and value is actually the data associated with that key okay so we want to store that uh, model uh, in the serialized fashion okay so model.toJSON will provide me a serialized object and now i want to store this inside a file so as a, a, a regular 
way just open a json file model dot json file in a right fashion okay as json underscore file if this file is not available then new file will be created for you okay then with the help of this pointer i'm going to write down uh, the value or the object inside that file model in json okay that's it we will get uh, the json file uh, after execution of the cell since i am in colab you can check out or expand this palette and uh, here you will get uh, model.json file okay you can download this file also or you can store this file directly on uh, your drive okay you have to just uh, mount this uh, google colab with your drive okay now file is ready uh, with us now you can take this file anywhere and uh, uh, now if suppose you want to load that model what you have to do you have to just open a model.json file in the read mode and uh, just have that uh, uh, that in json underscore model now we have a method to load the model from the json file model underscore from underscore json which is actually available in tensorflow.keras.models now this method will allow us to load this json model in a model object okay so model 2 now we have a model 2 and i have printed the summary if we observe this particular model is same as that of the previous one okay we have used uh, 128 neurons then 64 then 32 and finally we have uh, only one neuron to identify the real time values okay so if i'm printing this uh, json underscore model you will get uh, all the key value pairs class name is equal to sequential config configuration and inside this configuration we have name is equal to sequential layers are uh, layers are equal to class name is equal to input layer likewise okay so this is how we can store uh, the model in json file remember this we are just storing the model we are not storing the bits now coming to the another way to store the model is storing your model or saving your model with yaml file okay so yaml file is basically used to store the configurations this is same as that of uh, the previous one that is json file but uh, it is used for model specification okay so here uh, most of the code is the same as that of the previous one so model.2 yaml will allow us to get the serializable object and then now with this object we are writing the yaml file so just open a yaml file in the write mode okay uh, and uh, just write this object inside this file okay so after execution of this cell you will get uh, model.yaml file over here now it is just the matter of reading the uh, yaml file okay so just open a model.yml file in the read mode same as that of uh, the previous json file then uh, just to use the read method uh, to load this yaml model okay and uh, now with this yaml model we are loading our model okay so for that again similar to model underscore from dot json we have model underscore from dot yaml file okay so i have imported that from tensorflow.keras.models finally i have printed the summary for the model 3 so model 3 is the same as that of the previous one remember this again we haven't yet stored the weights okay now how to store the weights so keras uh, or the tensorflow has provided a way to store the model its weight and along with its specification okay and uh, that way is to store the data in dot uh, h5 file okay 
एच डी एफ फाइव फाइल इज एक्चुअली अ बाइनरी फाइल इन विच वी कैन स्टोर ए मल्टी डायमेंशनल डेटा अलॉन्ग विथ अवर मॉडल एंड इट्स वेट्स ऑफ कोर्स ओके सो वी कैन यूज मॉडल डॉट सेव ओके टू स्टोर दिट्स एंड द मॉडल इन अ फाइल हैविंग एक्सटेंशन डॉट एच फाइव ओके सो यू विल गेट दैट फाइल ओवर हियर मॉडल डॉट एच फाइव ओके नाउ वंस यू हैव ट्रेन दैट मॉडल वी वॉन्ट टू स्टोर इट्स वेट्स सो वेट्स अलॉन्ग विद द मॉडल आर स्टोर इन साइड मॉडल डॉट एच फाइव now we want to load that model so for loading the model you can use load underscore model method okay this is actually present inside tensorflow dot keras dot models so load underscore model model dot h5 and we will get uh, the model along with its weight okay now if i am executing uh, the cell model dot uh, predict okay with the original one i'm getting output as 23.97 okay so this is predicted value and 21.1 is actually the uh, actual output or the true label associated with this sample now i can check uh, with the model 4 which i have loaded with model dot h5 so let's check out that okay execute this and again we are getting uh, the same output means uh, almost uh, uh, means we have loaded that model and we have saved that model we have loaded that model from the model dot h5 so this is how we can uh, store our model in a json file yml file and dot h5 file so we can take this file anywhere from uh, this machine to the other machine and uh, you there is no need to uh, retrain your model you can use those weights directly in order to predict the things basically weights are stored with dot h5 file okay so thank you for watching the video